The competitor to the Lexus LX600 has always been the Infiniti QX80, and we are on the cusp of a brand new redesign here for the QX80. We got our first official teaser camo shots coming on the Infiniti camp. If you guys are excited for the new QX80, smash the like button and make sure you subscri subscribe because there's got to be a full official reveal coming very, very soon. Ah, here it is. I just need to read the press reveal or release. March 20th, we will get the new Infiniti QX80. Well, this vehicle is a potential brand saver for Infiniti. They still don't have any product really coming after this anytime soon, unfortunately, to help the QX80 out. QX80 is like the last remnants of the cavalry coming out essentially to help the QX60 and the, the you know, the walls are caving in. But anyways, ahead of its March 20 debut, Infinity releases the first installment of its teaser video series. So these videos that I'm playing down below are just the first installment. So they have to tease the heck out of this vehicle. They have to amp it up to the moon and back because this is all they got. There's nothing else coming out this year I don't expect. Their electric vehicles, and maybe it's a good thing, got pushed back to like 2027. We know it's going to look pretty much identical to the QX monograph concept that we saw last year, last year at Pebble Beach. We're going to flip through the images here. Autograph is the, the top of the line that we see in the QX60. It looks like the QX80 is going to get that same sort of elite treatment here. They're also proud of this camouflage and it's cool don't get me wrong like this camo is unique i've never seen anything quite like it before but let's focus on the details here and maybe let's see if we can spot out the differences between this the production model as well as the the monograph that we had not that long ago so let me pull up those photos for you down below we have the the monograph up here we have the autograph this is the production this is the concept and let's zoom in on this garnish piece right here. It's almost identical. Now, and it could just be the angle we're looking at it, but it looks extremely similar. It actually might be longer on the production model or, or maybe not quite as deep, but it could just be the camera angle. Uh, but that looks to be very, very, very similar. What about the mirrors? Well, the mirrors aren't getting that, that treatment. This is more of the parts bin for Infinity here. I would like to see blockier, chunkier mirrors on such a capable off-road vehicle, but it looks like we're getting, you know, at least uh, turn indicators on here. There's going to be a 360 camera on it as well, which is not in the um, the monograph down below. The hood line looks to be exactly the same, a very strong line here. Okay, daytime running lights right at the top. If we compare them, they look awfully similar. They might be a little bit longer here on the production model, but again, it could just be camera angle. And look, we have this amber side signal um, that was not in the concept either, but very, very similar. This is actually our only look at the grill. So let's take a peep at the grill uh, at the top left corner and compare it to the grill here on the monograph. Well, it doesn't, the grill doesn't look to be as sharp or porous. We have these additional blocks in here that look like it's Mm, a little bit more of a single plane where this has a lot more depth to it. All these sharp claws coming out here. It looks a little bit more flat in comparison on the production model um, where even down below these look to be a little bit more uh, 3D effect where this looks more flattened. If we look down here at the bottom, again, this is camouflaged quite well. It looks like the headlight area, which is separate from the daytime running lights, it's looking like it's having a very similar effect here. Not quite as exaggerated and swept back seemingly as the concept, but it looks like kind of like, uh, you know, the Outlander. Isn't the, the Mitsubishi Outlander kind of like this that has the, the headlights in the corner and the daytime running lights on top? We're having that, a general theme here uh, with this QX80 as well. Let's look at the rear. So let's pull up a rear image of this bad boy. Here we go. That's close enough. All right. So we have Infinity typed out on the back, just like we do on um, the monograph here. There was no badge. We Here is the official badge of the QX80. It says four-wheel drive. I kind of like it. It's kind of like this. It looks like it's maybe blacked out or bronzed out. It looks pretty good. 
All right, let's look at the tail lights. They are seemingly taller, the tail light area. And maybe this is where your hand will go in. I see a 360 camera here. This is where your hand could go in to lift up the hatch. But the rear taillights definitely seem chunkier. And if we look at the design here, they are separated by this bar in the middle that goes underneath the top repeating little uh, red squares. Where here, they're all connected. And in fact, at the bottom portion, they come with these striations. We still have the striations. They just don't go all the way across and they don't connect with the top red squares. Um, and also down here, this is going to be maybe a reverse light turn indicator, which this was not on the monograph. We don't have any exhaust tips. We do have parking sensors. We do have these red reflectors here that are not here on the, uh, the monograph. And we're not going to have this sort of detail here in the fake exhaust area. And I'm assuming this is fake exhaust area because that's what they did with the QX60. Uh, but this looks a lot better than the fake exhaust on the QX60, which is like a fake quad exhaust. We also have that window trim. It looks like they're carrying this around just like they did on the monograph. Now, it definitely looks a little bit chunkier here, this bottom of the window bezel, but it still looks good. We also have a lot more depth Seemingly, again, it could be the camera angle, but check out the D-pillar here. This is very flush and smooth, and it looks like we have some topography going on, essentially. Well, we have confirmation that the door handles are going to suck into the body on the production model. Check that out. That's pretty cool. It's going to make this vehicle look very sleek on the outside. And let's see. Do we have... Oh, I guess we have an, uh, an up-close on this QX80. I really like this four wheel drive badge. I think that's pretty neat. Looks very Japanese. Uh, we have the Infinity logo on the rear tail lights. Got some nice depth here. Almost getting like mo Tesla Model 3, Model Y sort of design depth here, but these wrap around nicely. Um, and we have, like I said, the D pillar, this little garnish hugs the D-pillar really nicely in the production model too. That's it. Those are all the images. I covered them all. I guess there's the gas cap. I didn't mention that. Of course, there's no gas cap on the on the uh, monograph here, the concept. But it's going to look about 95% the same. And I think that's a good thing. It's not going to look quite this stunning, right? The small details here are just unbelievable on this monograph. We're not going to have that same sort of level of attention, but it will look undeniably the like similar, right? I didn't mention that. I don't think I mentioned this in the previous video, but Infinity's not using bows here like they've had in the past. They're using clips, audio. We're going to have a lot of speakers on, in here, 24 speakers, an 8-inch subwoofer, 24 channels, and the, the tweeters are titanium. So, I mean, shoot, if you're an audiophile, just getting in this new QX80 is going to be a treat with this upscale Klipsch audio. I think they gave us a couple pictures of what to expect with the garnishes on the inside of the vehicle. Other than that, you know, Infinity sales at the end of 2023, um, they were up in the last quarter about 17%. In another video I just covered recently, Nissan's not doing that great here in the United States, their parent company. Um, Q60, rest in, well, it hasn't been officially canceled yet. Q50 was up in sales in calendar year to date. That's for all of 2023. QX50, and this should be a huge volume seller, but that was down uh, for the for the whole year 2023. QX55 up 6%, QX60, their traditional number one seller up 77%, getting some decent volume here. And they sold a total of 64,000 units, a far cry. They were selling, I believe, over 100,000 units in 2017. And who knows if they'll ever be able to reclaim that sort of market share. I highly doubt it with how things have changed in the market. New luxury players, uh, Mazda going upscale, things like that is not helping their cause. Um, will this QX80 help them? There's no doubt because the current one's old, but it's still fantastic. It's just kind of overpriced. And what we covered today is also going to affect the Nissan Armada and the Nissan Patrol. It's just Infinity gets the nod here to have it first to market before the lesser equipped and the lesser branded models come to the market. So twin turbo V6 instead of V8, 450 horsepower is what I'm hearing. 
nine speed auto more than likely as well. I'm here. It's the same platform uh, because Nissan really doesn't have the money to invest in a new platform on the QX80 and the patrol, but it's already fantastic. You should see what's capable of doing off-road. Um, the, the Nissan patrol, for example, it's an absolute tank off-road. So I'm okay with them not changing the platform. I'm going to end it there. QX80, it's coming March 20th. Make sure you subscribe. I will bring it to you on the channel when we get um, the full reveal here soon. Thank you, guys. Have a great day and peace.